Welcome back. Heart disease is the nation's number one killer. Look at these numbers. Nearly 30% of Central Texas deaths each year are attributed to the disease. Nearly 2,300 Americans die from it every day. That's nearly one person every 38 seconds. And the Centers for Disease Control say 49% of Americans have one of three high risk factors, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or smoking. And there is a new kind of heart surgery that can get you back to normal in just 10 days and here to talk about it this morning is Kendra Thompson with Scott and White Hospital in Round Rock. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. So what is the procedure called and what is so special about it? It's called a keyhole procedure. Um, the reason we call it a keyhole is because we're using a two and a half inch, about a seven centimeter incision in the rib, so between the rib cage instead of going through the sternum, which is a traditional s surgery, the sternotomy where we go through the breastbone. Mm -hmm. So instead of doing that, we're going through soft tissue, spreading the ribs. Uh, usually you won't have any broken bones with surgery. Um, and so the advantage of that is you can have you know, a lot quicker recovery, obviously. Uh, shorter hospital stay, decreased loss in wages. Um, you know, there's a decreased risk for infection with the sternotomy when you go through the breastbone. You can have, uh, you know, that one of the most serious or one of the more common serious complications is an infection in the sternum. So, mm -hmm. so you don't have that. So, and we talked about the recovery time could, can be just 10 days. Traditional heart surgery. What is the recovery time for that? Six to 12 weeks, mm -hmm. um, depending on how fast the sternum heals and you know if there's no complications and. So, so it's, it's nice because with this kind of procedure, you can get back to work faster, get back to the activities you enjoy, you know, recreational activities. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Who, who's the candidate for this? The same, same folks that could have the traditional heart surgery? Yeah, I think, yeah, anybody can be a candidate for it. Obviously, it's an individual, it's a case-by-case -case basis, so we would sit down with the patient and look at all the different factors contributing to their surgery. How severe is their heart disease? Um, if it's real diffuse heart disease on both sides of the heart, sometimes that's a little harder through these minimally invasive surgeries. But the nice thing with the minimally invasive surgeries, we can do almost all heart or valve replacement can be done through the chest wall, so the side of the chest wall instead of through the sternum. Mm -hmm. um, congenital heart defects uh, and then coronary artery bypass surgery for heart disease. And what about the cost and how does that compare to traditional heart surgery? Right now, the, the you know, when you get into the billing of this stuff, the coding isn't any different right now for minimally invasive versus an open, so right now they cost the same. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Some very good information. We'll have this online.